Hi, my friends. This is Tiffany. I am a member of the Coco Daisy Design Team, and today I'm going to flip through my August planner. Um, the theme for August was Backyard Blooms. And I'm using an A5 Webster's Pages planner that's called um, Sweet Caroline. I love this beautiful uh, embroidery on the cover. So I'm just going to open it up and flip through, flip through it, and then I'll probably talk a little bit, and then at the end I'll do a silent quick flip through. Okay, so thank you guys for, for joining me today. I went ahead and punched some... Um, use some of the papers to uh, round corners and fill up these pockets, as you can see. And um, these, these are from the Pug Paper Company, and then these are from Coco Daisy, and then this bow is from, let me think of the name, uh, Peonies Papery. Alrighty, so I'll get started with August here, a flip through. So basically, I was really inspired by the name Backyard Blooms. I love flowers. I'm not a gardener, but I love flowers. And um, I basically made a list from A to Z of all the flowers, of, of flowers. I was basically trying to come up with, basically I... Uh, you know, Googled, you know, flowers that start with A, flowers that start with B, and then I came up with a list and um, also have some examples of some of the flowers, not on every page, but so you could see I started my list here and went from A to G, kind of talking about um, basically information that I got online about what how big the flower, how big the flower uh, grows, how many feet the flower grows, is it easy maintenance, low maintenance, what colors it comes from. So in this particular, for this particular page, I went to get head and um, got pictures of the flowers. And I'll put this here. So this would be amaryllis. Sorry if I don't pronounce it right. Um, Bougainvillea. This is, uh, what do you call this? Calendula. Sorry if I get the name wrong. And uh, Dahlia. Echinacea. I hope that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> this is Fuchsia. And then this one is Gazania, Gazania. And I went ahead and um, used a sprocket printer to print out these photographs. And um, I just used a library, uh, library pocket card that I got and um, just punched a hole in it. So I didn't do that for every I didn't do it for every page because um, that would be a lot of flowers <laughs> to print out. But I just did it on a few of the pages. And I have the same picture on the back. Here's the second uh, page going from H to N. And uh, this is a picture of a sunflower which uh, is called Helianthus. So sorry if uh, I pronounced that wrong. And I just added a quote here about flowers. And let's see, on this page we have O through U. And, um, yeah, O through U. And I went ahead and put a picture, picture of tulips here with another um, quote. And let me open this one up. Did the same thing with the library card pocket and then some pictures of the flowers. I think this is the last pocket that I did with, with flowers in it. And then I have a quote over here from Jim Carrey that I Googled and it says, flowers don't worry about how they're going to bloom. 
They just open up and turn toward the light and that's what makes them beautiful. So I love that quote. So here's the flowers. I don't know if they're in order here. Um, actually, I think that they might be. And now, remember, I can't pronounce these names. Osteospermum? That's this one. Oh. Then we've got Plumeria. Plumeria. Um, I don't know how to say that one. Oh, uh, but you could, you could, you could see what that says there. Then I have Rosa, which is Rose, and this is actually a picture from our backyard. Um, these uh, these other photos, I actually used a um, free stock photo, a free stock photo website um, called Unsplash, and they're they're on the internet and on Instagram, and. Um, that's how I found, came up with pictures of these beautiful flowers. So I really love unsplash photos. You may notice if you've checked out my Instagram, um, I have different pictures of flowers and birds and uh, I usually note on the photo that the, the photos come from Instagram. I mean, I'm sorry, from unsplash. And if it's, it's from our own garden, then I'll say that. But I don't think I've posted any of those lately. All right, so these are tulips. And let's see, this is the last one called Ulix. All righty. So I'm gonna back these out again. So I put it back in the reverse order. Here we go. Plumeria, and this is the Osteospermum if that's how you say it. So I was really inspired by all the beautiful illustrations and the hummingbirds and um, I thought it would be fun to make a list of the different flowers from A to Z. So that's what I did. Or a list basically, because obviously there's a lot of flowers. There's a lot of A through Z flowers, but these are just the ones that I, that I had looked at. All righty. And for the last page, we've got Viola, Wisteria, whatever, however you want to pronounce this, Yucca, and the last flower is Z, whatever that is. <laughs> and here's a picture. Basically, it's a cal it's a calla lily. So that's um, what this is here with another quote. Flowers are the music of the ground from the earth's lips, spoken without sound. So I add that quote there. And let's see, what was this page about? <sighs> Blooming. I think this was basically about me learning to accept myself um, as I am. Uh, you know, when you think of the concept of, of blooming into whoever you're going to be. So I did a little journaling here on this page. And... On this page, I used some pocket cards from the Memory Keeping Pocket Kit. Then I added a doily here and some washi tape and one of the die cut flowers. And I usually I pop these up with some dimensional foam dots, pop dots. Um, it makes it a little bit thicker, so I tend to love that. And I printed out the challenge page here. And here's one of the uh, four by six cards. Grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. All right. And this is week one. Um, and here I use the transparent dots, which I love, to check things off. And then I decorated it with some die cuts, and I, I think this is from the Memory Keeping Pocket Kit. And then when I went ahead and glued the page, I didn't journal um, after this week, so I went ahead and glued the pa these pages together. This is the second week. 
and I used the um, sticker kit. Um, their, I love their heart checklists. So, here we go. This is uh, week three. And let's see here. For this week, I believe I'm using more stickers from the sticker kit. And I'll go ahead and link that um, down below in the description so you can get a better look. But I, I love using the uh, sticker kit. There's there's a number of sticker subscriptions, but this one is just just a sticker kit when you look at it on the website, on the Coco Daisy website. And let's see, this is a page where I just wrote out some quotes about flowers. And then I added some um, of the stickers and um, some of the die cuts. Soak up the sun, remember sticker, let's see. So that's this page. This, oh, yeah, let's see. So this is, you know, this particular illustration comes after every week. I try to use those pages, but when I don't use them to journal on or write notes on, I will go ahead and stick it together, like as you saw here from, let's see, from the first week to the second week. I just went ahead and glued those together. Yeah. And let me turn this, and this is the last week. I went ahead and popped up, used uh, foam dimensional dots to pop up this image here. And these are some days of the week stickers that I used. I did some journaling about what I was currently doing for the month. And I think that was one of the Ch uh, Coco Daisy challenges. And basically, what I had been doing was staring at my little cart that I set up with all my office supplies. <laughs> so I'm kind of obsessed with my little cart. I mean, people, you know, lots of people have carts. And I just finally put one together after all this time um, just to kind of help me get through mail. I'm always constantly using stickers and tape, paper clips sharpie pens me measuring stuff so i basically kind of put a cart together that has all my favorite favorite things that i tend to like grab for every day all righty and these are some of the, the office supplies that i love uh, i hadn't really really thought about it um i mean obviously i love stationery but i hadn't really thought about how much i love to use office supplies to organize stuff like manila folders, page protectors, highlighters, post-it notes. So I just have it all in one place here. Alrighty, and let's see. I think this is the last page before I go on to the monthly section here. I think it's the monthly section. And I don't always use, I, this is basically just an overview of the month. I put some stickers, uh, some stickers here. Um, I keep it pr uh, pretty basic. Um, it's just a fun page for, for, for me to, to decorate. Um, and I also have another calendar that I use that does not look as pretty. So it's always kind of nice to just have a pretty overview of the month. Alrighty, and this is the divider I made up of one of the papers. And I use one of the tabs here. This is one of the dashboards, Find Beauty in the Chaos. I went ahead and rounded the corners here. And I think I stuck two dashboards together, let's see. Yes, so Find Beauty in the Chaos. And I just went ahead and glued it to one day at a time. And so this is my daily to-do section here. Let's go see what I had going. Okay. Oh, I think I was inspired by um, the hummingbirds in, in the artwork um, this month. And I went and found this photo on Unsplash. 
if you look up hunting hummingbirds you can find it and then I use some of the um, let's see the uh, puffy stickers I'll go ahead and make sure that I link to the kits that I used, the Coco Daisy kits that I used. And let's see, oops, stay positive. Let's see if I, did I write anything on the back? Okay, I did a little bit of journaling on the back there. I must have watched the convention, so I wrote about that. Alrighty. Here's another day. Did some journaling here added some stickers, because so maybe there wasn't that much going on that day. Did some more journaling here. Added some stickers. I think that's the end of this section. Probably clip some papers together, and then I have a note section here. This is another um, dashboard, which I bet I glued to another dashboard on the other side. Let me check that out. I sure did. Oh, I love this. Um, I focus on what I can control and let go of what I can't. I don't always do that, but the way to peace, <laughs> lasting peace is to do that. To try to just be thankful for, for all the good things and just you know focus on what you can. I went ahead and wrote out a Bible scripture here and then used one of the labels and I popped it up with those foam dots, which I which I love to do. And then I think I think I just have some um, oh this is the continue the quote continues on this page. This particular page was one of the free printables um, that anyone can download for free. And I went ahead and glued two pages together because I couldn't, also I couldn't fit all the entire quote on one page. So I went ahead and did that. Did some things I'm grateful for. I think that might be it. Just some random, um, this is some uh, loose leaf Filofax paper that I just added to the planner. I could have just as easily printed more, um, printed, printed more of the free printable pages as well, but I had these around, so I just went ahead and put, used these. Just some basic notes, some other things, and for the back of the planner, this is just. I think I wanted my bow to stick out. So I just basically took one of the daily to-do pages and folded it in half and stuck the bow, stuck the bow, stuck the bow to that. So that's a little trick there. So that's my planner, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip through it another time, just silently without talking, if you wanted to get another look at that. Okay? Alrighty. Oh, one thing I did forget to share too. I love um you um I have uh, pictures of my planner pages on Instagram and a lot of times I will use one of these extra sheets to in insert in the pocket because I just love that it, it because they're always so colorful it's one of my favorite parts of the Coco Daisy kits so I just went ahead and rounded the pages here and I think I probably cut off part of it so it would fit in there and I believe this is a dashboard I forgot to t uh, have you guys take a look at. I think I glued two dashboards together and did some journaling on the back. This is the August pay, uh, the August dashboard. I punched some holes in, into it, but then I ended up just liking it sitting in my, sitting in my um, planner pocket. Um, I went ahead and did a Dymo label. A Dymo label. It says memories and on the back I think I just did some journaling about the month overall and I think I probably need to finish that up yeah I just went ahead and wrote some reflections on the month and I still can fill in fill, fill in a little bit more so that's what I did there and I can either you know put it in here but I, I like the way that it looked just tucked in and also, this is one of those Filofax pages, Filofax pages, line pages that I just went ahead and rounded the corners there. 
So that is my planner for August. All that's fit to see, I guess. And then I will um, go ahead and just kind of do a quick flip through without talking, in case you wanted to take a look at it without me gabbing. All right.
Thank you guys so much for joining me today and you have a wonderful week.